Hello friends and welcome back to Stay to Right. In this new video, we'll talk about what a beginner can focus on learning once they have completed learning Python. So a lot of beginners have this question that what should I do once I've completed learning Python? But in this video, we'll talk about a couple of things, keeping the video short to give you a direction to follow once you have completed learning Python. So the first point would be to start uh, practicing a few programs like pattern creation programs or palindrome or other simpler algorithms which involves array or string manipulation so that you know you can start uh, practicing and you can actually use what you have learned while learning Python. The next thing that I would recommend you to do is use Tikinton module. So it's a very amazing module which you can learn or study tonight website as well. Uh, using this module, you can create desktop applications and once you start creating desktop applications, you start, you know, you get a feel of uh, what all uh, you can do uh, being a software developer, being uh, an application developer, because you start seeing things getting created. In desktop applications, you can create a calculator or you can create a weather application or you can create a simple software for a banking uh, system. You can even try creating tic-tac-toe game. So there are a lot of things that you can easily search on Google to, uh, you know, in terms of uh, Kinder module uh, applications. Once you're done with the Kinder module, you can also explore requests module, which is used to uh, hit third party web services or REST services using which you can, you know, uh, uh, fetch data from other third party services and uh, log into your console or maybe use into the application that you have created using the Kinder module. Uh, some great uh, way to start is use Spotify application third party uh, web APIs. You can fetch songs for a particular artist or you can even do some analysis on the songs that are available on Spotify. Spotify API is a very good uh, point of start for new beginners and it's easy as well. I've seen their dashboard and it's not very hard to uh, understand. Then you can also use NASA's API, those are public APIs. There are many other uh, uh, weather applications which provide public APIs. You can try Google Maps to, you know, sort of look for places using latitude and longitude or fetch latitude and longitude using places. So all these APIs you can try once you, you know, start using requests module. Moving on from requests module, another very important thing that you should focus on is learn how to connect Python with one of the databases. It can be an RDBMS, MySQL database, or it can be MongoDB, a NoSQL database. So this is very important. Once you have learned Python, the next step or the next logical step is to, you know, how to, because Python is a backend scripting language, you should know how to connect it to a database so that you can, you can use it to store data into the database, right? File handling is one of the things that I think you would have already learned when you learn Python. So you should also have an understanding of how you can write open files, write into files, read from files and from databases as well. So there will be MySQL connector, uh, which you can install using pip, same as with MongoDB as well. There is certain connector in Python, which you can install using pip command and, uh, you know, start using uh, the, the databases to insert data, read data, delete data, and do the basic CRUD operations with Python. Fifth point would be Flask. Yeah. So most of the people recommend uh, beginners to learn Django. I think Django is a little bit complicated, although you can also uh, pick Django and start uh, creating web applications using Python. I would recommend Flask. So using Flask, you can learn how to create REST services, which is a very good point of start to learn how to you know, create APIs in Python because Python is generally used as a backend service. And these days, uh, the front end and the back end are separated, although there are many uh, you know, big companies who are cre who have created their product in Django, but I would recommend you to you know focus on just creating REST services in Python using Flask. Flask is a very uh, minimalist framework which can be used to create REST services. I hope you know what REST services are. If you don't know, you can scroll down in our YouTube channel and you'll find a video explaining what APIs and REST services are. If you have interest in AI ML, because you know there's a lot of buzz around AI ML then the modules that you should focus on are start with numpy pandas scikit 
and matplotlib to you know uh, plot data uh, charts uh, beautiful charts can be plotted using uh, matplotlib so these are the four basic modules that you should learn so once you're done with learning all these four modules you can start exploring kera's website to you know solve some basic problems out there and get a hold of how ai ml problems look like and how you can solve them so as per me these are the six directions that you should follow So Turtle package is a very good package to create visualizations and create basic games and uh, you can also try your hands on uh, writing data structures in python and uh, uh, solving algorithms in python so there are a lot of things that you can do once you have completed learning python so don't stop and keep learning if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who are still confused and who are still not aware of what to do once they learn python and please do subscribe to our youtube channel a lot of people just see our videos and don't subscribe so please 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 subscribe to our youtube channel see you next time